double I axis spread sheet using Google Docs. It's pretty easy. So the first thing we're gonna do is of course, you know, just go to Google Sheets. It's pretty simple. And under Google Sheets you just wanna make a new document. It doesn't really matter what it is at all. Sorry, computer's kinda slow right now. Okay, and then you wanna name it like Probably not even gonna end up saving it. Yeah. Okay, all right now here for A you wanna do gears, and then for B you wanna do something with one. It doesn't matter at all for one. I'm just trying to teach you. And then there's something to the gears. Like 1999. And five I guess and for something one it can be smaller numbers so like I don't care anything below 100 I guess is probably what I should put here and then all right that's it for that one and then for something two the point of having two y-axis is to keep the work down to a minimum I guess if you were writing it out it would take a really long time so by doing bigger numbers here I don't know it just it works whatever so this side should just be bigger, bigger numbers. Make sure it's all in three columns like I'm doing here, otherwise it's gonna just come out really weird. So we wanna do like 120, 140, I guess, I don't know. 98. Like 79. All right, and then this is what you wanna do is you wanna go here and just hold down your mouse button and drag out, or you can just hold down shift, I don't know. And you wanna go to insert, and you wanna go to chart. And you want to make sure you check the use column A as labels. And you want to go to chart, line, and then choose whatever you want, weavy line, whatever. Remember, it's not going to stay like this. This is going to change when I customize it. And then you go to customize, of course, and then you want to name it, like, I don't know, the Y axis tutorial thing. And then from here, this part I always kind of get lost a little bit, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> Do like something one right here, yeah. So left axis and then right axis. There we go. You just added another axis now. Typically that's pretty easy, but everyone gets confused when they say like go back up here and then like rename it. So on the left it would be at something one, and then of course on the right where it will just stick one in there. It will be something two. And there we go. Now we have that, and then of course just your horizontal axis is like it is wherever that is. Okay, all right. and that'll be years. And then that's really everything you got to do. And then you just hit insert. And when you are copying this over into a like a Google Docs document or like uh, Open Office or something, you cannot go like this and hit control C because when you move it over the axis things like the labels will just get deleted because Google doesn't know what they're doing so you just got to go here and you got to manually man or manually just copy the chart and then paste it in and then you're done so that's really all you got to do it's really simple really fast a lot easier than writing it out so uh, yeah